Mm, living rent free next to a millionaire. Uh, hunting down incel extremists. Oh, that's interesting. Online, you can be anyone. Oh, that's interesting because be it's kind of about you guys. Right neo Nazi, <coughs> but I can also be a jihadist, and I can even be a man who is part of the incels movement. Most of the world. Just... Guys. We're gonna take a deeper look into the non subbery that's going on here. It was introduced to incels when Elliot Roger killed six people at UC Santa Barbara. Okay, this got serious quick. Holy Police shit. Police didn't have to search long to learn what motivated a 22 year old gunman to kill six people and injure seven others. Incel got serious quick. stands for involuntary celibates. And it was originally a forum on Reddit that was basically set up for people who couldn't find a romantic or sexual partner. The Toronto van attacker posted a reference to Elliot Roger online. He wasn't part of a terrorist group, but it may not be as simple as suggesting he was a 24? It looks like 40! What the fuck? Oh. I think it's extremely scary that literally anyone could get caught up in an extremist well, movement, to the could corner. get radicalized the up, and exploited by extremist recruiters. Asshole. I'm Julia Ebner, and I'm a researcher looking at far-right radicalization and terrorism. Part of my research is undercover within those groups, and I do these investigations you, partly because I want to understand better how they operate, because that's how you inform prevention and intervention programs, but also partly because oh, I, I then work with fuck. security Man. services to intercept <sighs> their communication or to, to prevent terrorist attacks from happening if I do see something being plotted. But is she like a free journalist? Shouldn't the people that prevent the terrorism be like in the government? Looking into jihadist terrorism when ISIS was at the height of its power. But then I saw that there was a strong backlash from the far right side of the spectrum. So I looked deeper into the far right's online subcultures and saw. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a things don't add up ever. And it's pretty freaking obvious theorist. <laughs> You fucking retard. They were really gaining traction, <laughs> especially among young people. When you and I wanted to get tank. insights, really first-hand insights, and understand what was driving them. When I was younger, I always wanted to become an actress, and I did a few acting trainings. So I guess that was then helpful for being just a very, really just an amateur in pretending to be someone I'm not. But it helped me to, to for example, to fool neo-Nazi groups or, or also jihadist Germany. groups into thinking that. I Dude, that gun looked straight up like to, a toy for gun, example, didn't it? To fool neo-Nazi groups or, or also. Look at that gun! Is that a real gun? It's even bending, bro. It looks like a toy I used to have. Had groups into thinking that I could be one of them. For my research, I went undercover on the one hand with ISIS hacker groups, but also with American neo Nazis, with German far right extremists, identitarians, and white nationalists, also with misogynist groups, and with conspiracy theory groups such as QAnon. A lot of people okay. wouldn't really make the connection that actually neo Nazis and far right extremists are very similar to jihadists in the ways they operate, also in the ways they think, but especially in the ways they use new technologies. I've been interested in the rise of anti-feminism for quite some time, and especially when it manifests. The rise of anti-feminism, you will think it's always been around. Why hating women makes sense. And then he has a fucking pepper, uh, with pepper with a gun, man. These are the weirdest people, man. The weirdest fucking people. in targeted hatred against women or against... Oh, the Riddler! I'm the Riddler, man! They always have these edgy fucking profile pictures. Mostly the Joker. Uh, I'm so anti-society. I'm so more intelligent than everyone else. No, you're just fucking mentally ill, bro. Exactly. What the fuck is wrong with these feminazis? Society has been fucked up by... Jesus. And especially against feminists. The Manosphere is a loose <clears throat> network of different online subcultures that are all misogynist and, and united in their anti-feminism. Incels is one of the most radical and potentially violent groups or networks within the bigger manosphere. Incels was originally a forum on Reddit that was basically set up for people who couldn't find a romantic or sexual partner and who were lonely. There was a positive goal behind incels in the beginning, but it has been hijacked over the years by deeply misogynist and anti-feminist uh, activists who've turned it into one of the most hateful places you can find on the internet. When, when not getting girls makes you a threat to society. Exactly, man. Exactly. That's why people show stuff, man. Dude, there's not four Germanys, right? Come on. Four Germanys, like, jeez. You don't believe anymore in being able to find a romantic... I want to blackpill people and spread the black pill in Iran, but at the same time... A lonely old men. Alter Schwede, ey. ...for sexual partner. 
The problem is nowadays you have the internet. Back in the day, he will be the village retard, right? You have a village with 20 people a thousand years ago, and you had, you had what? You had Uncle Joe. He was a bit weird. Uncle Joe is kind of weird. He was kind of weird, but nowadays they have the internet that they can connect with each other and stuff, you know? That's the problem with this shit. Thank you. You don't uh, believe that it's possible to cool. change your behavior you, in order to find a girl. They believe that actually it's only the, the really good looking guys, they call them chats, who are able to find women. So attractive men are called chats and uh, attractive women are called Stacys in the incels vocabulary. I've never heard that before. In 2014, Elliot Roger was, I would say, the first big case of an incels sympathizer who went on to this guy, commit an act of terror. The nearly 10 minute rampage ended with a final gun battle with sheriff's deputies. In the end, Roger and six others were killed. He became the, the hero for the whole incels uh, subculture. So he still cited his manifesto, he's still quoted by, by new perpetrators of the incels movement. He posted a 141 page manifesto. Jesus, these people are so fucking mentally ill, man. Mamma mia, man. These people need help and not the internet. Part one, a blissful beginning, age zero to five. They're also very narcissistic, man. Anders Breivik and all these, that uh, Christchurch shooter, they, they, they're so narcissistic. They're so ego-driven, man. They they think it's all about them and how important their story is and stuff. This is a story of how I, Elliot Roger, came to be. And this is kind of, you know, sometimes you saw this in the Hoi community, like the first beginnings of that. You guys remember, I'm not saying Sean is going to fucking kill people, but you guys remember when Sean wrote this letter where he apologized for hacking and it was like, my life and how I, like, the, I, I think the Hoi community also has or had some members that are going down this path. Not on that extreme, but in, in, in my four years in Hoi 4, man, there's some people, man, that I've met in these discords that are legit a weak version of this mental illness here, man, which is dangerous, man, dangerous. Festo, mostly blaming women for not having sex with him. He also published a video in which he said that he hates all women, that he wants to take revenge on women for not having sex Then why do you shoot up a gas One station? One example like, of what? such an inspirational attack is the Toronto van attacker, who in 2018 went on to commit a van attack uh, against pedestrians, and he also posted a reference to Elliot Roger online. Don't just shoot him, don't post. even fucking... And most... The officer should just get it done, right? The, the dude is... Holy crap, man, just get him. Of course, had the Plymouth shooting in the UK, where the perp... Gunman kills five in the UK, worst measuring in 11 years. I mean, look at them. These people have just big brain damage issues, man. Jake Davidson, 22, killed two women, two men, and a young girl in a six-minute shooting spree before turning the gun on himself. Big, big problem in our society, man. These, it's And it's mostly young men. That is just a fact. It's young men that do that stuff. You see it in, 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 in jihadism. It's these young men that do terrorist attacks. You see it with white young men that are like Nazi, doing Nazi stuff, uh, stuff like this. It's these young men that are just really, really far, far gone, man. Very, very far gone. Trader was also inspired by the incels movement. How do you fucking help them? You know, my I don't job know. is to do research. I feel like with seven billion people on the planet, you're gonna always have these mentally ill motherfuckers. I uh, sometimes, Asmogold said that once. He said, we, we live in a world now where this is just normal. There is a chance that you are gonna get fucked by this stuff. Free therapy? I don't know if these people will go to therapy, man. They probably don't believe in it. And then the therapist is a woman, and then they don't Into believe in it. Various blah, blah, blah. different. Uh, extremist movements on different sides of the ideological spectrum. But as part of this, I, I often go undercover to expose some of their communication. Maybe society is the problem? I will disagree with that. If 99% of a society actually acts normal and 1% goes a bit mentally ill and goes around killing people, does that mean the society is fucked? Most of us, we all have problems. We all have our little baggage to go, but you and me, we're not going out fucking killing people, chilling on weird forums. Ah, some of you guys are probably on hentai forums tactics or their recruitment tactics and to then also inform uh, the wider public but also the security services or um, international Speak organizations on how to approach these topics for my undercover investigations i usually have different steps that i that i follow step one is to understand what my goal is what do i want to get out of this step two is to develop a profile, a credible uh, profile across different social media outlets. That means often spending months uh, to really develop that profile to make it credible. I sometimes think about my own character or that uh, fake character almost 
like I would think about the character in a, in a novel. But it also means that you have to invest a lot of time into actually running these different accounts, hey, turning them into John something himself. that could be an actual person's account. So you want to have himself. several proofs <laughs> that your Twitter profile isn't just a fake. Is climate change made up? I'm a woman, I'm helping this younger guy who's an insult and angry at women. How much would you pay for a hug? Suicide fuel. The myth of the slut. I thought I had a shot with a 5 out of 10 girl, then I found out this is the guy she's fucking. Posted by Subhuman. Where are the parents, man? Jesus. You have profiles on all of their alternative media, social media outlets. Like there is an alt right equivalent for Twitter, for YouTube, for, for Facebook that I would have to have accounts on all of these simultaneously and run them for several months in order the to... The parents probably worse. And then some of the groups have very rigorous vetting procedures. So, for example, when I joined... Uh... Oh, that looks like her fool. His name is Aldrich. He has one of the SS black and white World War II picture, man. This feels very, very hurt of ironish, man. To be vetted, send a hand or wrist photograph with a piece of paper reading uh, M-A-T-R, your username, timestamp, or with this vetting shell in the background, and answer these questions. What is your entire ancestral background that you are aware of? In what country were you born? And where are you currently? How old are you? Are you man or woman? How would you describe your political views? Are you a homosexual? Any other type of sexual deviant? Oh my god. What are your religious or spiritual views? Do you even lift for grills? Do you even work out? Alter Schwede. You know, the point is we, 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 we laugh about these people. Again, people like this have been in the Hoifo community, man. You laugh about them, but as you get older, you realize these people are legit a fucking threat, man. Like, sometimes I'm even scared to go, like, to ParadoxCon, because one of them might... Uh, a neo-Nazi you know, group in the US. I don't know. I had to actually submit the Average test Discord results server of the genetic moves. test to prove that I'm white or to prove that I have no foreign background. Step three is to learn the language of the community. And it's important to to almost learn that language before reaching out. I'm alone in this crown world, rage fuel. Curry whore prefers big black cock to curry suitors. Jesus, man. To, to the... And stuff like this is, you know, why I have this weird for Germanys. Look, I'm all about free speech, freedom, blah, 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 blah. But I sometimes uh, raise the question on the stream if it will not be a bad idea to regulate the internet a bit more. It's, it's, it's a thought. I know we're all about, we want free speech and stuff, but does free speech have to Except stuff like this? I don't know, man. Whoa, Thank you, Stempion. Nice. I don't know, that man. Love you. It's very difficult, yeah. But like having a bureau, a government bureau that works on this stuff and like bans the websites maybe if they're found guilty of being anti-constitutional or something. Recruiters or two other members. Because otherwise they would already be suspicious. Because one thing is crystal clear, the internet is radicalizing people all everywhere, man. The last 20 years, man, the internet has done a lot of harm. Like, especially social media. The, the, uh, there's the fucking Joker picture, man. These fucking complete Muppets, man. Oh, these people, man. I, I you almost feel bad for them. Um, I have some 50 percenters, okay. Two sis. Let me just start my, my basic build, guys. Construction. Let me just do my basics. Concentrated production and obviously mechanical computers. I then put everyone together for training exercise. Google the dog. Try it. No. Um, trucks. Artillery can fuck off. Special equipment will be needed. Yes. Uh, I'm a big armored car fan. Dude, you start with armored car too? Wait, no way. What? Holy crap, that's amazing. Cool. Um, let me just figure everything out. Convoy. Guns are very important on the rush. People always tend to forget that. Some trains wouldn't hurt. So, special equipment for mountaineers. Radio equipment is done. Horses and guns. Support equipment. No level one bullshit. Even though heavy anti-air 1 sounds fine, but probably want to do 2. Then we have the cars and the infantry trucks. That's it. How much mills are you giving me? Not that much more. Meaning I probably want to build like this. Then we check the steel. 
don't want to buy steel yet this is better for me we are going with cast support we are going with trade interdiction and here we should go with superior actually this gives defense right against uh, which one makes you end up with more defense against the japanese Breakthrough, soft death. Mm. Ah, this doesn't seem that. I don't know. Land night attack. In fact, the left one is better. Especially because I'm going to use a lot of support battalions. Hmm. This one is. I hate this one. Mechanized offense. If you have an infantry build, mechanized offensive is a waste of a of a of a doctrine, right? Tanks and armor. Ah, oh, let's stay in Grand Battle Plan. Check it out. Entrenchment, max entrenchment. Yeah, that seems more defensive. Seems more defensive. We have a new focus tree that I totally don't know. I'm very excited. This is the war tree. This is the... Oh, this fixes corruption, which I should probably rush first. Because right now I get weekly stability debuffs, which I probably should fix ASAP. So that seems to make mad sense. Replace corruption with widespread corruption. That seems good. Uh, you would also need to go for recovery rate and entrenchment speed. The Muslims... Oh, industry, I'm a big sucker for industry. Man, these focus trees are so good, man. I really like these focus trees. Uh, I'm fixing stability first, I guess. 150 PP and 200 uh, freedom points organized in the National Congress. Let's open like that. Uh, let's delete the air. I will have to bring volunteers to Spain. That's going to be interesting. My best division that I have to offer is this one, huh? 30. That looks good. What? I sent Gurkhas. I should probably send Gurkhas. Uno momento. I don't know how much I can send. Let's try free. Boom. Man, the fucking button doesn't work in this new DLC. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Gurkhas. For Spain, then I probably need to delete some stuff. I'm deleting eight divisions in order to gain equipment. And that is my standard build. Now, let's uh, keep on... Uh, let's let's just just immediately identify you as an outcomer. An example would be the incels movement, where you have a whole list of, of terms that they use that you wouldn't know as an outsider. You wouldn't know what a Chad or a Stacy is or what, uh, or how, what the derogatory terms are that they use to describe women or that you have to be blackpilled in order to be part of that community. I've never heard of blackpilled before. And step four Why is, is to reach out to other members. And step five is to really get deeper insights and to gather information from the inside. One of the key findings from my time within incels was... Always feel, it seems like her investigation should be worth a 40 minute video, but they always just make it 10 minutes. The video's almost over. And she didn't even uh, tell us about the results yet. That they're all deeply vulnerable individuals and they've all had a past of of either traumatizing experiences or of i always tell you this this you don't need to be genius notes it's the loser principle man deep inside when you are like a, a weirdo in society a jihadist a neo-nazi a hardcore communist whatever deep inside your soul there's always something going on some trauma some some uh, i don't know Maybe even some mental issues, you know, maybe some genetical brain stuff. There's always something behind that. Just really a lot of sad experiences that happened during their youth or during their childhood even. All of the incels that I, that I spoke to or that I had conversations with had an extremely low self-esteem. So they also talk a lot about how to maximize their looks. It's called looks maxing. There is a whole forum on that where you can do different types of surgeries. They have this ideal picture of what a man should look like in order to be successful. And some of them also no longer believe in any of these looks, looks maxing uh, strategies. So they've given up all hope and what you, in incels language, would, would call the uh, lay down and, and rot. They've basically decided that their life is no longer of any value and then they resort to either committing suicide or they resort to, to planning acts of violence against women to take revenge. On. A lot of male privilege on these people, huh? Mm. Oh! Just saying men also have issues, okay? That should be looked at in society. Should forget these insults. They're fucking killing people. Should take care of them too. The people they blame for, for their lack of, of sexual experiences or for their inability to find a romantic partner. I do think it's, it's possible to de-radicalize them. 
but in order to to inform good de-radicalization strategies or intervention strategies, we need to have really good knowledge of how these communities operate and what's driving the members. So I think there is value in going undercover with them. The other part of, of the story is, of course, intercepting their communication if there is an attack that's being plotted or if there is an announcement of violence and then forwarding it to the security services or forwarding it to the tech platforms that shut down their accounts. And I do think that's, that's, that's really important and that's also what keeps me motivated in this job, that I think you can have an impact, however small it is, in, especially in doing investigative research in this area. But, but is this there like a follow-up? I never understand this. This woman has spent so much time on this. You can't tell me it's just a 10 minute video. No, no, no. Undercover in London brothels, I'm interested. But there's no follow-up. That's so awkward to me. There's no follow-up.